Uh, my name is John Beebe, and I uh, work at Ryerson University, where we've just started a new initiative called the Democratic Engagement Exchange. Um, and I come from the program perspective, not the evaluator perspective. Uh, prior to working at Ryerson, I was at a small charity called Samara, where we partnered with community-based organizations to enhance democratic engagement. Um, and so, from a you know, our goal was to to build a culture of engagement. And that worked on three different levels. That worked on the individual level, it worked on the agency level, and then it worked on the community level. Um, and so from an evaluation point of view, or to understand, you know, I mean, just understanding how effective we were being and how we can improve our program, it was very challenging to do that. Um, but we were able to, um, look at a couple of things that were interesting in terms of the program because from a programmatic point of view, especially around democratic engagement, one of the biggest challenges is reaching the folks who aren't currently engaged. And so one of the frameworks we have is um, that, that I'm particularly interested in and it deals with this area of inclusivity um, is for the people who aren't on the ladder of engagement. Uh, so you're, you know, if you, once you're on the ladder of engagement, you can kind of measure people moving up the ladder of engagement. But if you're actually not on it at all, um, how do we get people on the ladder of engagement? That's an area that I was really interested. I'm still really interested in understanding that and how we could and how we can develop programs and support communities to do that work. So that was one of the questions, and so we could at least try to understand are we actually engaging people who are not on the ladder of engagement? We could answer that question. Okay. Um, and that was interesting. Um, then we, the, the harder question is, how do we build a culture? Um, and we can talk about this as we go forward, but how do we build a culture? How do we measure that? Um, and you know, I'm still connected to North York Community House where we did a lot of the work and Asian Court Community Services where we did another program. Um, and you know it's really interesting to see now two years after the program has ended how that those communities are engaging the world and i'm happy to talk about that as we go forward but um the the question of cultural change is one that i'm really interested in um because i think that uh affects a lot of areas not just democratic engagement so the the question of of measuring for instance how engaging folks who are not engaged or measuring how well you have connected to them right. versus how folks are moving up that level of level of engagement, the ladder of engagement and right. all that. Right. What, yeah. What, once they're on that ladder of engagement, then I, you know, there's, there's some really great, um, and we're probably many folks in the room have been involved with programs that develop, you know, identify leaders and develop leadership within communities. Mm -hmm. um, super important work. Um, we're trying to act before that intervention uh, so that people who are not yet self-identified as leaders um, or who may not see themselves as engaged or for whatever reason and understanding those barriers um, is, you know these are these are the questions that I'm interested in uh, and hoping to get some answers here today. You didn't come and, with answers to those questions? Uh, I did not. I came, I came with thoughts. I have some thoughts that I'm really hypotheses. I, I, I would I would pose them as hypotheses more than answers. Okay.